Hello everyone, and this is Argon Matrix, welcoming you back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In, in the last episode, we got to Hyrule Castle, well, not quite actually, we just got to the part in front of Hyrule Castle where the stupid guard won't let us through. And, yeah, we, we have to actually leave and come back to make Malon appear, I think. Yeah, see, there she is. And listen to that, I think that's her singing or something. I love that. I could just listen to this day in and day out. But, we can't. See. Are you going to the castle, fairy boy? Would you find my dad? Would you mind finding my dad? He must have fallen asleep somewhere in the castle. What a thing for an adult to do, tee hee. Oh yeah, if you look for him, I'll give this to you. Uh, sorry if I paused there. It was the stupid lag that made the text stop moving. So you know, she gives us a weird egg. I don't see what's so weird about the egg other than that it's bigger than my head. But whatever. Oh, jeez, there's so much lag. I might only be able to record two episodes of this. If there's this much lag. Like, seriously, I don't even know if I'll be able to finish this episode effectively. Oh, jeez, come on, lag. Stop. Stop, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, man. That was really bad for a second there, but it, it seems normal now. Anyways, here here there are these things called gossip stones. You can hit them with your sword, and they will say, Boing, boing, Mr. Saturn. The t current time is something. And yeah, so basically they just tell you the time. It's not all that useful since in game time doesn't matter for a whole lot. So anyways, you want to hop down here, yes, and we're gonna have a bit of metal gearishness. Oh, uh, that should be that should be a new word in the English dictionary, the metal gearishness or something. Uh, what the fuck? More on that later. What? D did you see that? I like cut to like the left to the right of the sign and. It cut it in half right there. The, 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 well, I don't know. So basically, you just have to sneak past without any guards seeing you. So just don't get close to any of the guards. And Halo is turning into morning. That's awesome. Uh, this is really easy to well this part at least. But it'll it will get harder later on. So don't worry about that. Hey, look, a chicken hatch from the egg you were incubating. It's the miracle of life. Yay! Yeah, my first baby grew up and moved out of the forest. The second one hatched from egg. Yeah. Boing, boing, Mr. Saturn. Anyways, so now we're just going to want to float down the moat, because if you take the path that goes above the moat, then you're going to encounter some guards, and there's going to be hell, and there's going to be too much paperwork, and there's going to be lots of kids getting run over. So, don't take that path. And I, th I think there might be something in this tree. Oh no, I didn't think about something else. Never mind. So anyways, you want to head over here, and you will see this fat ass laying on the ground sleeping. Dude, wake up. Speak. Okay. <laughs> Welcome. Our ranch is so fun. Come on, look around. Uh, yeah. So anyways, you're going to want to take a chicken, or your chicken, and use it on him. What in darnation? Can't a person get a little, get a little shit eye around here? No. Hey, you look like. Uh, uh yeah, never mind. Uh, hello, and who might you be? Yep, I'm Talon, the owner of Lon Lon Ranch. I went to the castle to deliver some milk, but I sat down here to rest, and I guess I fell asleep. What? Malin was looking for me? I'm gonna catch it from her now. Yeah, be scared of your little Peli Loha. Uh, she's gonna let me have it. Go crazy legs. Go crazy legs. Woo! How come the guards don't stop him? Jeez. He's. Just, I guess it's because he's a delivery man. Uh, this door's just here for show. I wonder what's behind it. I've always wondered that. So, anyways, we're gonna have some block pulling here, and we can't pull that one because it's slightly trapped behind this block. So we have to pull this one first, obviously. Uh, why do these boxes have like the? picture of a bull's head on them, uh, on them or something. Really? Like, seriously. Uh, so, push this, push this. Uh, basically, it's a standard block puzzle. You're going to be seeing them a few times throughout the game. It's really not that bad. He does push it kind of slow, though, so that's kind of annoying. Uh, I, I had a weird burp or something there. I don't even know. Anyway, so you want to push this one, and we got a really nice close-up look of that bull head right there for some reason. Oh, come on, Link. You can push faster than that. Like, for some... Like, you can look on the ground and you can see his feet moving, but he's not getting any traction until, like, a certain time. Like, 
when I don't know. It's hard to explain, but whatever. Anyways, and and now you want to climb up on top of this box after it makes that sound. Jump over here, and you can enter the waterway here. Ooh, it'd be so nasty to crawl through that. It would make you so wet and smelly and moldy and stuff. Uh, that door is also here for sure. Okay, this is the part where it starts to get hard to sneak past these guards. Because, well, it's not really too bad. They just kind of follow a set path. You just have to kind of watch them. Uh, this reminds me of a part of a part in the game The Emperor's New Groove for the PlayStation, which was is going to be a game that I'm going to LP at some point, because I'm, I actually I actually just recently flat found my old PlayStation and some games for it, so I'm probably going to uh, LP those at some point. Uh, uh, rupees! I think I'm going to go for that blue one as soon as he's gone. Okay. Man, that was kind of risky. Oh, man. I feel like Marge Simpson after she just robbed a bank or something. Does that make sense? Maybe not. Oh, I might have been... I might have just screwed myself over here. Okay, thank God. Oh, my gosh. These guards are so stupid. Like, seriously. Oh, my gosh, no. Hide in the trees. They'll never find me here. Oh, my God. Get, get, away, get away from me. Why are there random white tiles here that doesn't make any sense whatsoever? Uh, oh look, a different camera angle, just because it's that epic transition to... What's that statue of? It looks like it's of... I don't even know. Okay. Yeah, we've made it past all the guards. There's nothing to worry about past here. You just want to roll into this little courtyard here. And I'm about to show you a kind of cool Easter egg. Um, well, actually a few Easter eggs. First, you want to go over to this window. And if you look in, you can see a picture of Mario on the right and Peach on the left. And if you go over here, you can look in the window from a different angle. There's Luigi over there. Oh, and there's Bowser, too. You can just kind of see that, sort of. Maybe. I don't know. And if you look the other way, there's Yoshi. He's kind of hidden behind the thing, but whatever. And the second Easter egg that you're going to want to look at here, because you never come back here again, actually. This is the only time you're ever allowed in this little courtyard. You want to shoot your slingshot at the window, and... Hey you! Don't cause any trouble! And he throws a bomb at you! Oh my gosh! What? What a dick! Like seriously, seriously. I don't know. Hey, who's this? Oh my gosh! There's some chick, and she has blonde eyebrows, just like me. Who? Who are you? How did you get past the guards? I'm Argon, and I'm gonna save the day. What's that? Is that? Face? A fairy? I mean, then are you, are you from the forest? Then you wouldn't happen to have the spiritual stone of the forest, would you? That green and shining stone? What, do you expect every fairy boy from the forest to have a spiritual stone of the Kokiri? Well, it just so happens that I do have one, so you count yourself lucky, just as I thought. Yeah, because if it had been Mido that came to save you, then he wouldn't have one, because he's a dumbass. 